This cute little mink is part of multi-billion dollars industry. And the reason for that is the ever-increasing demand of minx fur. It is estimated that European farmers produce around 40 million mink skins per year, usually sold at auctions for two to $2.5 billion. The production value peaked in 2013 at $4 billion, setting up a new record. There are more than 5,000 fur farms in Europe alone, most of which are dedicated to mink farming, contributing to 65% of global mink production. The average sized farm houses more than 40,000 minks, and these numbers sound really impressive. But the farm life of minks is not as beautiful as you might think. The breeding season of minks starts from December to March and both male and female minks must be fed nutritional diet for successful bread. The interesting thing is that their diet depends upon weather and changes accordingly. In extreme winters, minks need to consume more food to stay healthy and active. Conversely, during summers, they eat a lot less. The favorite food of minks is ground fish and they are fed two times a day. After mating, breeding records are kept for each individual mink, which includes information about the mating date, fur quality, and reproductive success. During pregnancy, wet diet is preferred over pelleted commercial feed. Thanks to their strong nesting instinct, the female creates a warm, dry, and draft-free nest inside the cage before whelping in April or June. The litter size could range from two to six individuals which stay with mother till fall. The perfect time to wean the kits is six to 10 weeks after their birth because they can now consume solid feed and drink water on their own. The rapid growth of minks starts once they hit the seventh week of their life cycle and are vaccinated against various diseases. Once they reach a certain size, they are shifted to the larger cages as only so many minks can fit into one cage. It is sad to see that these cute buddies are born in cage and will stay caged till their last breath. Death isn't easy for them as well. Instead of slaughtering, many farms use small gas chambers to kill them. Slaughtering will leave a cut on minx fur, which will make the whole effort pointless. These gas chambers contain carbon monoxide, a deadly gas, but it is said that minks die a painless death because of this procedure. Well. I got a lot of reasons not to trust this statement. After harvesting the fur, these farms are left with tons of product in form of minx fat and meat. The meat is used to make pet food and the fat is transformed into biodiesel. The dark side of the story is that not all farms operate morally as seen before. In recent years, the government and authorities have shut down dozens of farms for practicing unethical and cruel methods. Some of them were trapped in broken cages, which frequently cause the injury, while others are kept in stressful, noisy environments for weeks until remorselessly being put to sleep forever. Heavy fines were imposed on the owner of these farms. Some of them were sent to jail for animal cruelty. So whenever you see flashy fur coats in fashion show, keep in mind that it takes 30 to 50 minks to make an average sized outfit. On the other hand, nature doesn't show mercy to them either. In October 2020, COVID-19 was detected among minks in many farms, which eventually led Danish government ordering to cull off all 17 million minks in the country's different farms. Spain followed the necessary steps too. In July 2020, they also culled of 100,000 minks after a farm in Aragon province was infected with COVID-19. Farm owner protested against the government's orders, but it changed nothing as no country in the world wants to take credit for introducing a mutated version of COVID-19. Killing animals solely for fur is prohibited in many countries of Europe, and some countries have such a strict regulation that it makes the fur farming uneconomical. But there are those with policies and loopholes in the system, making fur farming a dream business for many. I hope you have learned something new from this video, so please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See ya!